Have you been afflicted with Error 53? Well, we're here to talk about it. I'm Kyle with iFixit, and this is Matt Z. Matt is a, our resident iPhone expert, and you've become an expert on Error 53 over the last year or so that we've been starting to see this issue. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna explain to you what Error 53 is, how to cause it, and how to fix it. We're gonna see if we can, we can cause an Error 53 on these phones and then fix it. So at a fundamental issue, Error 53 is, an, is a problem where after you have done a repair on the phone, and then you go and you update to iOS, sometimes it's 8.0.1, sometimes it's iOS 9, you get an error on iTunes that says error 53 and the phone is bricked. Is there any recovering from error 53 if you've got the phone bricked? At this point, we haven't found anything. And if you go to Apple, they say, we're sorry, you need a new phone. So what is causing this? Well, let's dive into how the phone works a little bit. I have, so this is an iPhone 6, and there's the touchscreen sensor uh, embedded here. So I actually have that sensor here. This is a this is a, a touch sensor out of, out of an iPhone. And so you, you, we might put a new screen in, you take the old Touch ID sensor, you put it in, in the new phone. When you do that, the repair, all, usually the, the new screen comes with this. So this looks like a big metal piece, but really the, the key piece here is this cable. This is just a metal shield, and then this is the Touch ID flex cable that goes all the way up uh, the back of the phone. And when most people do phone repairs, they don't swap this cable. They uh, ha buy a new display assembly that has this cable and, and they do the swap. Right. And this is how the repair industry has been doing this, this for years. This is how RI Fix It guides tell you how to do the repair. That was all well and good up until the new uh, iOS update. And what Apple is, has done is they have tightened the calibration and they've tightened the detection of the attenuation of, of the signal along this cable. So to show you this process, Matt is going to, we have two perfectly functional iPhone sixes and we're just going to swap the screens between the two of them. Right. And that will cause error 53? Uh, presumably, yes. Okay, let's get into it and do it. All right, so we've got the screen off the first phone. Now we're gonna take the screen out of the second phone. Now again, both of these phones are perfectly functional. Neither of them has any issue. Okay, so now we have the screens off of both phones. We're going to put the screen, the white screen from the rose gold phone on the black phone and power it on. Okay, so we've got it back together. Let's see if it works. All right, so the phone turns on, it's completely functional. So this shows that we did the repair correctly, the phone is working. All right, so we're going to update this phone to 921. Now this phone actually is already on 921, but we're going to do the restore and restoring the 921 image onto this device will trigger the error. All right, we are halfway through the restore and it is giving us uh, the phone cannot be restored and unknown error has occurred, 53. So well, I'll click okay here and the phone is stuck so the phone's stuck in the middle of the restore process. And what do I do now? There's nothing really that you can do at this point. So if I unplug it, it goes blank. Okay. And now I turn it on, it says connect iTunes. So there is, there is no way to fix this in its current configuration. No, and if you listen to Apple, you take it to one of their stores. So Apple has a support page up for this and they say you take it into a store. Right. And is, are the stores fixing the problem? They are turning you down on repair. So that's the bad news. Now the good news, how do we fix the problem? How can we unbrick this phone? So this is, this is our office phone. So let's, let's go ahead and unbrick this phone, uh, which means that we're going to have to put the original screen back on it. So this is the screen that came on that phone. We're gonna put this screen back on it. So we've got the phone with its, its original flex cable on it. Let's go ahead and turn this guy back on. So it's asking us to plug it back in. So we'll do that. iTunes says restore. We'll go ahead and restore the device. All right, so we're, we're restoring the device and this should fix it. However, in the process of doing this, we completely wiped out all the data on the phone. Look at that. We have a phone that is back together and working. So make your voice heard, speak out to Apple, Ask them, the, the, the request is simple. What we need is a software tool that allows you to re-authenticate your Touch ID cable, your new Touch ID cable and Touch ID sensor with the phone. And if they make that simple software tool available, it will unbrick 
these thousands of phones that have people have had problems with. So, and the reason why it's important for Apple to offer this software to everybody is that not everybody lives close to an Apple store and independent repair shops are all over America, all over the world. And this issue affects people who are sometimes hours away from an Apple Center. So hopefully Apple comes out with some other kind of fix, but at least for now you've got a short term fix, which is find your original Touch ID Flex cable and Touch ID button, put it back in your phone and you'll be good to go.